that's the level that we aspire to and why we worked so hard last year and in qualifications to get here because that's that's where you want to play you know you, there's different pressures on them they're expected to to win the the competition you know they're up there that's their their spending and their focus really you know Paris Saint Germain is a as a club over the last few years have been developing and and looking to go on a, down a different route you know when I took Mohamed Mohamed Azako from from Paris Saint Germain when I was at Liverpool Mama was the captain as a young player had come through the system there then very quickly he was he was fourth choice so that was the, how quickly they moved into the uh, be one of the superpowers of, of European football and but from a football perspective the they've got um you know they've got brilliant players one of my staff here Jack worked there for a couple of seasons we with Carlo Angelotti and so um so yeah, they're, they're a club that really their aim is to to win the Champions League, and for us it's the great challenge to play such teams. I think what you expect from a lot of the the French young strikers, very quick, very dynamic. He's technically very strong. He of course is still adapting. I don't think he's ever trained at eleven o'clock in the morning with the rain and floodlights on. <laughs> so I think he's uh, he'll be adapting to to Scottish football. But uh, he looked a bit cold this morning. Um, in our tactical session, but uh, but now he, he settled in very well. He obviously has to learn the language and uh, get to know Glasgow. But um, but he's got other guys here to to help him. We miss him, and Ollie and Dedrick Boyata speaks French as well. So uh, so now he settled in very well. And like I say, a lot of the the national teams, if you watch them, the French very fast, very quick. He's got a lovely touch on the ball, and uh, he's at the, the stage of his career where it's. Um, you know, he's looking to develop and progress. Yeah, I think this season for Patrick is another progression for him. I think that, firstly, it's it's great to have him back. It's been great to see that smile and back in the in the environment, and then obviously to watch him in training. You can see where he's he's gone back into Manchester City and trained again with that elite level player. Uh, he's come back into here. You know, renewed his motivation, and and he's still very, very young. I think we have to remember that. But I think this is another um, step for him, ongoing this season, really playing at at Champions League level. And I think he can do very, very well at it. So, um, so yeah, it's it's nice to have him back for for the season. I think with with the experience, what you what you tend to learn to do better is regulate that pressure. But it's always there. You know, huge clubs like Liverpool and and Celtic, they're worldwide institutions, so the pressure always is, is going to be there. And I think when you want to be successful, that's where it is. You know, so there's no time you can get comfortable ever because you're always having to. I always believe you having to start from scratch every day. At the at the big clubs, you're trying to, you know, impose your way of working, but you have to win. That's the the pressures of it. But I think with experience, you learn to. To regulate that better, Liverpool was a a brilliant club, a great time for me, um, great learning there as a manager and a coach and a great club. But like I say, after that period, um, I needed that rest. I needed that breather to go away and and just reflect on uh, a lot of things involved in that happened at that time, knowing that my next job was going to come back and be fresh and uh, and uh, and re-energised, ready to go again. So. Uh, I was fortunate enough in the position I could do that and uh, and like I say, hopefully Celtic got the benefits of that.